Hey everyone, this is Lee, also known as Analog Self, and today I'm here to talk to you about some sound design stuff I did for my friend Teji's short film called Courage. Uh, basically, this film is a really dreamy, sort of weird psychological nightmare thing for this guy who's a photographer, and he is going blind, so it's him kind of coming to terms with all of it that entails. Uh, basically, this film, to me, felt like it needed moments of psychological punctuation to kind of let the viewer know what the photographer is feeling. We pulled an all-nighter and Teji had had one minute of film edited so I sat down went from there and created what became the soundtrack for this film. So to get right into it I used Ableton Live 9 and Sound Toys 5 both programs I got with academic discount so if you're a student definitely look into that because it's very well worth it uh, some workflow stuff that I did was change the time ruler at the bottom to 24 frames per second that is the frame rate we're working with for the film and it just makes it easier you can zoom in directly on frames and make cuts that way I also tend to work from top down so as you can see this is a huge project I had some other ideas in addition to uh, scrubbed the field recording that I made the first night filming for some key moments but as I was saying top down is at least it's a way that makes the most sense for me start with the stuff that happens first in the top and then as it goes as you keep progressing through uh, have the other tracks farther down just so that it's not a mass of where am I kind of a thing I also like to color code stuff Ableton Live 9.6, I believe, was the update that automatically started doing that for you. Um, sometimes I'll change things to make them be the same color, if it makes sense to me. I also like to group tracks functionally. Um, so my music tracks, those are all together. I have the car field recordings that I sliced up. Those are all together. I have some stuff that I'm affecting with Doppler. Um, I also use the Wave Doppler plug in so I'll show you that in a little bit so to give an example of what I did for the ambience part at 146 uh, here's the sound by itself just regular field recording went down to a highway and recorded some cars and then I ran it through a chain of resonators and delay and reverb and compression and more delay and all sorts of stuff and then I ran it through some sound toys stuff to eventually automate a little bit of a psychological edge so I can play that with the stuff on it. As you can hear, it's very different from the raw recording. So there's some really cool stuff you can do just by layering ambient type effects on on something to completely change the way that it originally sounded. Uh, another thing that I did was layered field recordings, such as the cars slash field track over here, which I can solo. there's nothing actually on these tracks but I automated a saturator from the decapitator on here so I'll play it back so you can see so yeah I had fun with that um, that made it with some really cool sounds versus just, you know, by itself, it's alright. But it's much cooler with this. So yeah, that was that. Um, what else we got here? There's a part where I thought that, oh, the character seems like he's kind of like, in shock a little bit right now so this was at 2 minutes 22 seconds I'll play this by itself I just used uh, Ableton's operator plugin 
this plugin is great because you can create four individual oscillators and then choose to route them in a bunch of different ways uh, as an FM synthesizer. I just have them as two separate independent uh, oscillators going on with the second oscillator modulating the first in both cases. So yeah, as you can see in the little, uh, little diagram here. So I play it back, it's just a bunch of frequencies. Yeah. I also put a micro shift on that, which is a cool little chorus y type plugin. Another thing I did a little later on was process this piece of audio. I don't even remember what it was at this point, but I remember putting an LFO on it with some effect chain that I had, rendered it, and then put it back in to Ableton and did some more stuff to it to make it build up all weird. So I'll play that back. <laughs> So yeah, it's just got a really weird, weird sort of underwater sound thing. So for this glitch thing that happened during the close-up of his eye, I took like a electricity static sample or something like that, and I put it into a granular synthesis plugin. It was Granulator 2, which is a Max for Live device that you can get for Ableton Live 9 Suite. Um, yeah, and basically I just processed it and it gave it this really gritty grinding kind of sound which I liked. Another thing that I did was use Waves Doppler plugin to do some really fun stuff with some samples and one thing I wanted to mess around with was using acoustic instrument samples and then tweaking them to sound like their cars and this weird dream. So I don't know if you've ever heard a contrabassoon before but they are a beast of an instrument and if you trill them very, very low in their range, uh, I'll just play for you what it sounds like without the effect on it. This is just, um, so this is an Ableton instrument patch that is part of the Orchestral Woodwinds package. Um, they sampled it at the Boston Symphony Orchestra and I think they're really great sound bundles. Um, but here's the contrabassoon trilling in its lower range. <laughs> So you can even hear the keys clicking on it. It's a massive instrument, and it just sounds like a, a, a car coming at you on a highway. So I'll play it again. And that's with no effect. So now adding the Doppler effect to it. I thought it sounded pretty cool. And then pair that with a flute. So here's the flute trilling by itself. And now here's the flute trilling through the Doppler. And basically with this, I just have it set. So I think I automated a momentary, yeah, there's like a manual button so you can just trigger it whenever you want. And the same thing went for the contrabassoon. this all together. And that was a weird little static thing that I did. Put that back here. I think it was literally just like a, a glitchy circuit bent static sample or something that I did and then I put it through the Doppler and it had this really cool weird sound like bit crushed I might have bit crushed it before I rendered the sample um, so that's all for me here I hope you learned something from this video and maybe you can see how powerful a tool Ableton can be towards mangling audio into something that sounds really cool. This was my second film that I've done sound for. So still learning, but also still, I mean, that's, that's part of the fun is just the process of figuring it out. 
Um, fingers crossed we'll do well at the CMF Hollywood finale this June. We're in the running for the Sound Award, so we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, for now, Lee signing out. See you guys. Thank you.